Okay, I have to take this water main and pull it up. Connect it to some trace heating and then uh, cover it with some new insulation. I'll keep you posted here on my quick clip. First thing I'll point out is that the damp proofing there, this um, black stuff, definitely does keep the temperature down. And you can see <clears throat> the black pipe, the main water pipe here, coated with mud. Part of it's silver because it's coated with a sleeve, and part of it's black because it's coated with damp proofing. I'm going to do it all again and uh, put trace heating between the and main, main water main and uh, an insulation layer. What I don't know is whether this uh, tape is actually going to be okay against the trace heating. It should be okay. It should be able to hold about plus 30 Celsius without melting. And that's the damp proof. It should be, it's proven to be really, uh, to keep the, the cold out and keep the warm in. So, you know, we consume this stuff. Hope that works for um, plus 20, plus 30. Broke some things doing this, like a sl uh, shovel. So we're using the handle of the shovel to hold my tape. You see there's about a four meter run here to there. The unfortunate thing is that the, way, the water main's only two inches below the top here. So that's my foot tamping on some concrete for the car. Of course, it's there. And uh, the water main is only two inches below the concrete. Not acceptable. That's why it freezes in the winter. Okay, I'm going to tie the trace heating, which you can see here, onto the water main. You might be able to see a weak link in this. I should have actually started back here and gone that way. Because I got a little bit of a tail on this. I'll end up heating the dirt, which isn't such a bad thing because this is this this place right here is a critical uh, ice point. It froze last year. It'll be interesting to see will this part of the concrete actually stay thawed this year. Time will tell. Okay, now I'm going to put some of these sleeves onto it just to give it further uh, insulation. So these are Climaflex Z813. Bottom at Woody's 199 each. Should make the run there. What I'm going to do is seal these joins with uh, tape and then wrap the whole thing with down proofing, damp proofing, and uh, tape it as well. We want to stay warm this winter, not have freezing pipes. We want water all winter without having to deal with melted ice cubes. I'm doing a, a join and reverse weave on each joint with the duct tape. Then wrapping the down proofing, the damp proofing, both with the slow and then opposite to make it a really tight fit. Trying to reduce the leak, any leakage in or out. I'm testing this thing while I'm laying it just to see what kind of heat's coming out through the, the different ducting. Okay, here's the entire thing laid and traced. Or should I say traced and laid. Double sheath with damp proofing. Well, the power's on to it. There's no smoking or melting. We'll see how it runs next few days. Trace heating installed on the Foursquare venue called Melifont. Go ahead and knock on my door if you want to get a bigger update. Or check out my photo stream on Flickr. Or how this little patch of land may melt and sink into the tundra. Bye for now.